Hi everyone, it's Tori with Fox and Hazel, and today I'm sharing with you guys a traveling art journal that I made with some friends from Get Messy. And it was uh, a group of us where we sent this journal around uh, North America and everybody added their little bits and pieces to it. So we used a moleskin cahier here and I decorated the covers of it. I added this quote on the back from Elizabeth Gilbert and I added a little bits and pieces on the front. And the only rule we really had for the traveling art journal was that everyone added a couple pages and everybody's page was fair game to add to as we saw fit. So here, this seems to be a little collage page of some tapes and stamps and the like. Everyone sort of added bits and pieces here and there. So it was all new to me. Oh, oh, it looks like here. Oh, that's from Katie um, from Punk Projects. You might know her online. Um, so that was her little contribution. She's a Star Trek fan. <laughs> These were the pages that I originally did at the very start before I sent it in the mail. They were a little bit quick and dirty. I believe this layout was done by Elizabeth and I'll have everybody's handles and social media links in the description below so if you want to check out more of their stuff you totally can because I can't remember everything off the top of my head anyways I really liked this little glitter packet with a picture in there um, that she had added in there and these flowers super pretty this was a page it looks like she had drawn and then cut and then stapled into the to the uh, journal and um, again, I think this is one that was stapled into it, but cool. It's one of those uh, prints you make where you smush all the paint together in a folded piece of paper. This spread was by Sarah. And luckily everybody signed their pages. So I know whose is whose. <laughs> Otherwise, I don't know if I would be able to tell this. Oh, that scrap paper was um, one that I had sent it along with the journal. So it was kind of fun seeing somebody use it. And this was another spread by Sarah, it looks like. I really liked those flowers on top of that pattern she had made. I thought it was super cool. And it looks like she did some silk screening on like a jelly print on some deli paper, I think. Anyways, it was really cool. Oh, and this one was um, Tiffany's pages. Yes. Which I know, I recognize them instantly. She's um, Aries Trash, if you've seen her on Instagram anywhere. It's her spreads are always super feminine and floral and girly, and I love them because they're totally the opposite of everything I make. <laughs> and again, another one of her spreads, like, I never think to use those colors or pastels or anything, so I love them. I live vicariously through them. And this was a spread from Alex on here. I love her style too. It was super fun seeing her stuff in person getting to touch it and she made this really cool pop-up page I really like it it's I was uh I saw that she'd like posted a sneak peek on Instagram when she was working on it and I was so excited as soon as I saw it because like what a fun idea a pop-up page it just looks super fun and cool and I like watercolors of course so and this spread I believe is by Jennifer and so some people worked in order where they did, you know, pages back to back and some people jumped all over the journal. It was sort of whatever you felt like doing was fair game. So, and I love Jennifer style. I'm obsessed with her hand lettering. It's the best. I wish my like normal type looked as cool as that. She just writes stuff and it looks effortlessly cool. So shout out to Jennifer and her penmanship. So like this is a super simple page, but I love it. And this one is by Misty, who is actually one of the creative team members for Get Messy. And her style is very painterly and kind of moody. I love her color choices. They're always a bit dark and uh, earthy, I guess. And um, I really liked what she did here. That sort of dark blue and sort of burnt orange together. And this was another one that Misty did as well. And you can see the date. I think it says it's December is when she had it. So I th believe we started this, oh gosh, in August, like last August, <laughs> I think is when it maybe originally went out. Anyways, I know it was early on, like sort of fall time. It took us about six months to get it done. 
Um, these following pages are from Kristen. Um, you might know her. Oh, I can't remember her hand off the top of my head. Um, she does the feminist scrapbooking and the awesome ladies project. So if you're familiar with those, um, she's the mastermind behind them. And she's also a get messy in. And so she added her pages to the, to the spread here and very her style, like very that sort of scrapbooky project life style of, uh, documentation which I like I did project life for all of a year and a half and that was the end of it <laughs> I don't have it in me to keep up with it so I totally respect all the people out there that do project life and have the dedication to it again I also this one is also Kristen's page as well and I really like that watercolor paper she used and this was another one of Kristen's and I also really liked it because it was all it was all these like, pockets like envelopes and tags and and all these sort of how do you say it? Ephemera? Ephemera? You know, like scrap paper that you collect and knickknacks, if you will. And I just, I think it's cool. It's very vintage looking. And of course, there's a Harry Potter reference. If you're in the know, you know what it is. Oh, and this page, I believe, was from Melody. Yes, Melody. And I really liked this too. Her style is so different than mine as well. I always feel like she has a really good way of sort of adding a lot of depth to her pages because she likes to layer and sort of you know do details and I don't know how to describe it but her pages always seem really deep to me um, this was a page from uh, I believe it was by Natalie she joined us in the beginning and then I think sort of fizzled out <laughs> oh and here's another cool spread uh, this was Rachel's yeah Rachel did this one I love the black and white um, color scheme I thought it was super cool I also like the sort of collage and of course you've got some Beyonce in there too. You know, is it really complete unless there's Beyonce? And I believe this is another one of Rachel's spreads. So different than the previous one, right? But yet so awesome at the same time and still her style. It just goes to show that lots of times people who art journal, you make pages that are wildly different, but yet somehow still all the same. And it turns out great. And this one is Katie. Um, also, she goes under the site and moniker uh, Punk Projects. I love her stuff. If you know her, she's obsessed with um, like galaxies, which you can see is this totally amazing galaxy spread that she did with a, a collage element on it. I love it. I think I need a picture of it in my house because it's so awesome. And she also does a ton of um, portrait drawing, like people's like characters. Like you could see her butterfly girl and I love it. And this is another one of her pages as well. Her spirit animal, which I believe that's a sloth. I didn't realize that's what it was still right now. That's also my spirit animal. Or is that a bear? Oh, I don't know. I'm sorry, Katie. You'll have to message me and tell me. Oh, and there was a couple pages at the end that were blanks. And I wasn't sure how I was going to fill them. And so, And this was, um, if you know Moleskin Kais, they have a pocket in the back page. And so this was the special stash. And this was a way for people to pass on more papers or stickers or whatever to each person to see if we could you know inspire each other to use the materials that came with the journal and so I hadn't looked at them yet so here uh, this is me taking a peek and seeing what they all are and I hadn't so the last couple pages were empty and so um, I need to fill them so that the journals complete and so if you guys have any suggestions what you think would look cool or an idea I'm totally game and you can see some of this um, stuff oh see this is the that's the scrapbook paper I originally sent so it was cool seeing it come back oh and this was really neat it was um it looked like a vintage check from a bank I believe which is kind of neat and then this is sort of this vellum translucent sort of stained glass sheet. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but I think it's really cool and I really like it. So, and I really like the banker uh, ledger or check, whatever that is. And you can see some of these ones are from others. People spreads like they've used it and then give them the extras back in here. So, so yeah, that's the little get messy North America travel journal. It was just between the U S and Canada and, I think it was super fun and I can't wait to do another one. If uh, you want to know more about Get Messy, I have all the links in the, in the description below and you can find out more what's going on. 
Thanks so much for watching, guys. Bye.